Hello friends, uh, good afternoon. This is Mr. Austin of Bushmeat Farms. Um, yesterday I promised you guys I'm going to show us uh, different breeds of grass cutter and the way we can use them so that when you are picking your breeding stock, you will know how to choose your breeding stock. Okay. Um, I want to use these two males as an example for you. I hope you can see them clear. These two males are actually the same age, the same month. They are one year, one month plus right now, both of them. And they are both crossing in their different cages, you know, with their females, okay? But I want to show you the difference. When people say long breed and when people say short breed, you know, different breeds of grass cutter. People, some people prefer to tell you they want long breed. It's actually good. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. And some others will say, eh, I don't want short breed. But I want to explain to you the benefits and the advantages and disadvantages. These two males, they are the same age. But they are not the same size. Okay? Now... Let me explain. By the time you are using this big male that is so-called long breed to cross in your farm, I give you to you only within two years, this big male now will be very big and very huge. It will not be able to move. It will not be able to uh, chase females in the cage because when they are too big, they have less strength. To run around okay and you will see that you will not be to be very lazy to 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 cross your females but this very one called short breed as you see this animal he has crossed two females that is bigger than it even do you understand in the next three years this short breed continues to perform they are very stubborn and they are very active if he's a good crosser, if, if the animal is a very good crosser, you will see them that in the next three years in your farm, they keep producing. They keep uh, crossing your animal, multiplying your farm. Okay? So as to the females too. So, so many of you will say, I want a long breed. I want a long breed. I don't want short breed. Let me explain again in the female. When you see some female, they are very big, just like this male. You call them long breed. But sincerely from experience, they don't produce more than four in their first time. Highest in the second time, they'll produce six. But any female of this short breed, do you understand? They start, some of them start from seven in the first time. They will produce seven quatrains. And the second time, you see them produce nine. Some, you will hear 10, you will hear 12. And they are very smallish. Okay, so these are the differences between this short breed and long breed. Everybody is shouting all about. The best way to use them is when you are multiplying your farm, it's advisable you use short breed. But when you are producing your 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 you are producing for meat, maybe for consumption, for um, um, dishing out to hotels and everything. Anything about has to do with meat. You go for long breed. They are actually meant to be for consumption. It's not all animal that can cross for you. Okay? They have limited because of their size. They won't be able to have strength to do the crossing. But when you talk about this guy, very stubborn, but very powerful and mighty. Okay? I want to stop it today. These are the examples I can give you today. We we'll continue our teachings by tomorrow. God bless you guys. Mr. Austin of Bushmeat Farms, keep doing your thing, keep farming, and keep your animal clean. Keep your cages clean, feed your animal well. God bless you.